How's it going there folks? I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs and after about a week of waiting, I have my liquipelled iPhone 4S. Now this is a nano hydrophobic coating that is put onto your iDevice or really any device. Uh, they only support a few cell phones at the moment, however the iPhone is certainly one of them. And what you can do is they will water treat your iPhone so that it is very, very allergic <laughs> to, uh, to water. It, it doesn't play nicely with water. Now the coating is uh, a fraction, like one two hundredth or a thousandth, I don't remember the exact dimension, of a human hair. And so it is completely unnoticeable, your device, I guess they haven't powered this on yet, the device, there is no difference at all. It's exactly the same. Yes, all the cases work. No, the retina display is not tampered with. It is exactly like a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio. It doesn't even look like anything's wrong with it. But indeed, it has been liquipelled, and uh, we are going to put that to the test in just a minute. Now, also with the box, they uh, include a nice little uh, carrying pouch, which is nice. So it looks like a sticker right here. A warning. Now, this is where they tell you not to do everything I'm going to do. Uh, it says, it's, you know, and I have to make this clear. People are like, oh, I can't wait to Liquipel my phone and then, uh, you know, go swimming with it. it. That's not what Liquipel is designed to do. It's supposed to be in case of an accident. So if, for example, you drop your phone in the sink or in the toilet or in the shower, don't worry, your phone's fine. But it's not like, hey, let's drop my phone in the sink because it's a Uh That's that's not what it's designed to do. But, of course, for the sake of testing, that's what we will be doing uh, nonetheless, you probably shouldn't do it if you choose to liquipel your phone. Now, 60 bucks, uh, I feel, is like a screamingly good value, uh, supposing this works. Again, we're going to put that to the test in just a minute. But yeah, I mean, the screen is exactly the same. There's no difference. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see how this thing works. Now, they also include a tissue here uh, that has been liquipel treated. And for those of you that don't exactly know what liquipel does uh, or what a hydrophobic coating uh, is all about, I want to show you. So, as you can see here, uh, we have a tissue. Uh, it feels like regular tissue. I mean, there is no difference. Uh, color, feel, texture, uh, weakness is all the same. I mean, it's just a tissue. <laughs> However, uh, right here we also have some green water. Now this water has food coloring in it. Now first of all, what I can do is I can take my Liquipel tissue right here and grab a tiny bit of water in my hand, hopefully. Look at that. So as you can see on this tissue, uh, it's completely resistant. Uh, the beads, I mean the water just forms into beads and you can see they completely just roll around any which way. Uh, it's pretty wild. And it's still water. I mean if I touch it, my finger gets wet. And if I roll it off of the thing, it goes straight onto my, uh, my canvas here, okay? But what happens with this paper, with this tissue, is it doesn't allow water to uh, absorb into it. It just beads, even that little wet dot stays there. So that's pretty wild. I do want to show you kind of one more example. Uh, right here I do have my, my tissue. Let's take this and place it down into the water. As you can see, I can push it all down in there. I bring it up and it is completely dry once I shake it off. That is nuts. My hands are soaking wet. This tissue, I wish you could feel it, it's dry. Push that down in there, pull it out, nothing. It's like magic, and that's what my phone is uh, is like now. My canvas is all wet, it'll probably be permanently green. <laughs> but I'm here to show you a liquipelled iPhone 4S and see if indeed it withstands the strength of water. Let's begin. All right, so here we are ready to test the liquipel coating on my iPhone 4S. As you can see, this is indeed a real iPhone 4S. There's nothing obscure or odd about this. Uh, everything is in the clear. However, this is going to be submerged in water. Now, I did dye the water ever so slightly so that you can see, and uh, I did uh, add a little bit of water first so the speaker and the dock connector and everything else is submerged immediately. So we're going to lower this in there. Actually, let's play a song real quick so you can here that indeed it works. Okay, then we're going to take it and lower it down into the device. We're going to take uh, the rest of the water and uh, there we go.
iPhone is fully submerged now. You can pull it out. Skip songs there. Still seems to work. We're gonna lower it back down. All right, we're gonna take it back up. Now, the reason Siri's engaging is it asks you to deactivate the phone after it's been submerged. Obviously, we're not doing this, so I think it's falsely triggering the home button. However, everything else appears to be working. Uh, we can wipe this off here. And as you can see, water is going to be coming out of the dock connector and lots of other places because there is actually water inside of the phone. And uh, they do recommend that you let it dry out for up to 24 hours without charging it, without doing anything else. But the phone is completely uh, and easily ready to go. So let's, uh, let's take it one more time and we'll empty all this water out. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs, and that was Liquipel. All in all, very, very cool. The coating obviously worked excellently. Uh, my phone is fine, and it's been in water for a very long time. So I will do uh, about a 24-hour wait to make sure the home button and everything else that was being kind of weird, uh, weird does in fact work. But uh, all in all, it appears to be uh, absolutely fine. So there you go, I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs. Worth 60 bucks, I'd say so. Again, it is a, pre uh, it is a preventative measure. It's not for uh, doing just so you can uh, water soak it. It is just in case you have an accident. But it works, and I can attest to that. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs, thanks for watching, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.